understands Wolf different. Like, Charlie's combos are always just so good, but Larry just, his neutral is so solid, and he's able to just read wherever you're going to go and just always have an answer for it. Yeah, one of the things that I really love about Wolf is that you can really, like, impress your style upon him. Like, mm -hmm. he, you can kind of do whatever you want with the character, and he's very flexible in that way. Mm -hmm. And so you see two completely different styles of Wolf between Charlie and Larry as well. Exactly. Charlie is, you know, that lab monster. He likes to do those combos that really show off who he is. And just you see it every day. You see his Twitch clips. You see his streams. And you see him here. So, this is going to be happening so far. Yeah, one of the things that I noticed between the two is that Charlie likes to go for his down throw tech chases a lot, right? Whereas Larry loves to do F throw, see if you do a jump, see if you, uh, you know, don't do anything, kind of just hold in. He goes for the F tilt, that kind of thing. Right there, Charlie losing that stock earlier, back. trying to respond right back. Can you get the nair? He can't, but he's going to be fine. Get back to stage. Yeah, that definitely could have been bad for Charlie, but he's not going to hit anything yet. Very much playing air to air, which is like Wolf's air to air is like sick, right? It's insane. Yeah, but the thing is that Wolf's grounded options are also like super good, so you have to like, you know, kind of balance the two. But it seems like these guys are just so happy to be jumping around. And right there, Charlie gonna get that very finally took that first stock off there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Wolf just as a character, like the space that he threatens is just it's so potent at anywhere that he is. But going into it, Charlie does still have a bit of a deficit, but that's nothing he can't uh, make up with a grab or two. Speak of the devil. Grab and right here. Oh. oh, Charlie had the idea, but a little slow in the execution. Yeah, that backer. I, he was waiting for an up instead of a side. Oh, the F tilt almost taking it. He's gonna be fine though. Mm -hmm. A little late on the reaction from Larry. That was that was so scary because Charlie didn't have a jump there either. Now Larry continuing to put Charlie in the corner. All he's gotta do is just do his due diligence. Wait there about, we go. see what his option is. If he chooses nothing, just punish him for it. Like I said, Larry's so good oh. in that situation where he can just challenge someone with that F tilt and just react to all your options. Yeah, so Larry mixed it up that time. Last time he went for the immediate wolf flash, Charlie was able to cover it that time, but instead Larry had gone for the up tilt instead. Mm -hmm. Charlie wasn't able to cover it again. Mm -hmm. Charlie is getting getting these hits in, but he's really not finding these kills. And that lead is slowly starting to go away. A lot of fares coming in. Larry landing, getting the quick hit. Oh! Charlie just fighting right out of this finish. There, there we go, finally. Yeah. yeah, finally lands that F tilt on the Wolf Flash. Doesn't really snap the ledge. So that was easy pickings for Charlie. Yeah, it's pretty much a 50 50 in the Wolf Fiddle there. Like, mm -hmm. if they up B or side B. Yeah. Whichever thing you decide to cover, if they choose the other one, they're pretty much going to get back to free. Exactly. Now, Charlie's kind of looking for these fares. At this uh, mid percent, he can do like a fair into a back air. And if he times right, he can even get a Wolf Flash. So I think that's probably what Charlie's going to be looking for in order to kill. You see him, yeah, doing these short hop, trying to get these landing fares. Yeah, the Nair as well, if he gets a strong hit right next to the ground, will also combo into it. There's a lot of options. Oh, he bad oh, roll in. He, he definitely, he like held his hand up. He definitely did not mean to roll. Yeah, I didn't, I did not think that's what he wanted. <laughs> it's so funny how many times you find yourselves on that uh, platform and you're like, I don't want to roll in, and the game's like, no. Right, right. You're going you're gonna to roll in. So, there yeah, we go. buffer system, man. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. That was the best of us, so. Charlie is going to uh, lose that first game. Still, not too much of a deficit. Kind of at that mid percent where he could have got one of the Charlie combos to bring it back, but Larry, just so solid. Yeah, it, the, the, I feel like Charlie really loves to show off his explosivity in this matchup, and Larry is very much like death by a thousand cuts. Like, gets you to the ledge, just ledge traps you as long yeah. as he possibly can, just gets damage, damage, damage. Whereas Charlie is a lot more of like, he has that flashy combo game, and he has that big finisher at the end of it. Yeah, Charlie's having fun with his job while Larry's, he's clocking in for that 9 to 5. He's got to do what he's got to do. And both of them are just such respectable play styles. I mean, you see the results that they bring in. And Larry loves that tech chase, too. You see him, you know, he's always willing to react. And that's the big thing. Being willing to react is bigger than, you know, just guessing, essentially. Yeah. Like, you know, maybe you have a read, maybe it's a guess, but either way, if you're willing to react, if you're willing to show that you're putting the effort in, then your opponent has to respect that. Again, we just see Larry kind of start off to a really good start. Has Charlie at this high percent. He's probably going to be looking for a kill soon. That up B, or up smash, not going to kill. Larry, weaseling his way out of that one. I felt like he was definitely going to be at this bin for a while there, but able to take stage. Mm -hmm. Charlie fighting back. And now they're just kind of scrambling out of shield. Yeah, I like how Charlie was willing to hold shield there. A lot of other wolves would have just tried to up smash, and that back they're going to catch him. Yeah, he overcommitted with the up air. Charlie kind of kicked himself for that one. Oh, I love that back air. He just did that short hop because it does cancel when you just uh, do it out of shield. So you're able to just hold him in shield and then get that grab because Larry didn't react fast enough. Larry, I tilt for Charlie and 
trying to hold Larry in the corner, but Larry doesn't care. Job, yeah, he's <laughs> a great job of fighting back and taking stage. And again, he's just reacting with that down throw, making sure that he's doing his due diligence and getting that percent. Mm. Should be fair, fair. Larry keeping him in the corner again. Nasdaq barely gonna miss. Charlie is really struggling to find this kill. Larry's playing so safe. He's spacing out these aerials. He's making sure he doesn't do anything laggy enough to get up smashed out of shield because, like I said, that will be Wolf's only. That, that'll be his fastest out of shield option. Yes. Both of these guys playing so safe on the shield. Poking with the nair. Poking with the fair. But the space That's what you have to say. Yep, back though, not gonna kill. Town and city. Big stage. Yeah, oh. Charlie just needs that one hit right now, but. He is it's struggling. Slipping away, yeah. Okay, Lord that's not gonna do kill. It. Yeah, well, that's a lot of fun. Thing. Yeah, he just wanted to kill. Oh, oh five down tilt. I have not okay. seen that one. I have not seen that one kill yet. But 200%, why not? You got sparks up the weak hit. Oh, okay. jumps right into that F tilt, but not gonna die yet. So that's a jump. Shot. Love that that angle Charlie put in. Oh, but this is gonna be bad. Barely misses. I like the high up side view there too because it made it so that if Larry had perfectly timed it for his sweet spot, he would have missed. Mm -hmm. I was really surprised to see Larry go for that down tilt there. You, we usually see him go for those up tilts, which I feel like would have connected there, but again, Charlie. Only if he angled it up, probably. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That was so scary. Charlie almost taking it back with that back air. Charlie scratching his way back into this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ooh. for that back. That lingering back air, it's so strong. Just. Yeah. The theme so far has been Charlie kind of landing on Larry a little bit too much. Larry sneaking in those bears, which is perfect predictive spacing, making sure that he's uh, able to throw those in should Charlie overextend. Yeah, I definitely like Charlie's trying to force these kills a little too much. And Larry's Ooh. just, Larry as a player is not one to really crack in those situations, whereas lesser players or just other players might have cracked there. Larry is just stone cold. Yeah, sick timing on the F tilt from Charlie. That's going to take that stock from Larry. Now we've got an even stock game. Whoever gets that first opening really gets to open up the percent game. Oh, here we go. Just a raw down B in the neutral. Yeah, Charlie loves doing that down B. It does lead into things at, uh, like we saw there. Charlie finally taking a bit of a lead now. And as I say that. Yeah, Larry fighting back. And this is just even stuff, and that's going to be fair bear, and that's going to kill. Yep, like wow. I said, Charlie is looking for those falling uh, forward airs, and finally lands one and gets that back air. Can even it up at 1 1 apiece. I love the way that Charlie was playing there. He kind of he stopped going on Larry's shield just willy nilly and stop throwing himself at him. So he was able to just save a lot more health and just claw his way back. Yeah, yeah but Larry himself wasn't even playing that poorly. It was mm -hmm. that one interaction that he lost right at the end that cost him the game. Exactly. Up until that point, he had been doing a great job. So, yeah, so solid. Percent. He's been tech chasing so well. You know, he's been reacting really well at the ledge. And so that one just kind of slipped out of his grasp. I mean, we saw game one, what the guy can do with the lead. Exactly. So we'll see if he's able to replicate that or if he's going to take this one here in game three. Definitely. No one's perfect, but... Here we go, gets that air dodge read. Oh my god, Larry is, Larry is inside of Charlie's mind right now. Yeah, he's got so much good coverage, right? Everything that he's throwing out is so non-committal that should Charlie choose a really defensive option that he can cover that too. Tries to sneak past him with the nair. Gets Ooh. that F-tilt, that's gonna be it. Larry, Larry on fire right now. That was definitely Yeah, that's the cornerstone of that one. That was like his momentum, all he needed was to get him to that point, and then the F tilt was just the cherry on top. Like that was just such a clean stock. Larry actually just told Charlie where he was gonna be the whole time and just he just had the answers. And so. now you see Larry instead of opting to go for down throws and tech chases, he's putting Charlie above him because he's recognizing that Charlie's panicking a little bit when he's above him. He's able to get so much percent off. Yeah, he knows that Charlie's gonna land with something a lot of the times. Oh, oh what a read on the neutral tech. Yeah, that covered a lot, right? That covered no tech, that covered neutral tech, and that covered tech in. Mm -hmm. uh, while it might not have killed tech in, still a pretty strong option. Exactly. All right, Charlie finally making it back to stage. Let's see what he can do. I like that he just didn't try to land with an aerial right there. You notice that he's been landing a lot with these aerials, and Larry just had the answers. Larry again poking with that foot. It's yeah. so difficult for Charlie because you know he's trying to get these combos started with the bears, with the up bears, and the down bees. Yeah. Larry, all he needs is that one poke. And so if he just spaces a little bit away from Charlie the way that he like, is trying to approach him, the back air just outspaces that person. Yeah. It literally, it'll either outspace or it'll trade a lot of the time. And Larry's so fine with that. That's probably what he wants. He wants Charlie to feel like he can get that hit in, but that back air is just going to be there. It's going to be too consistent. Larry just dropping that uh, tech chase right at the end. 
Barely missing that back air. Yeah, Charlie, you know, the thing is, is that Charlie, while he's like, this is slipping away a little bit, all he needs is one fair bear close to the ledge. That could do it. Mm -hmm. But Larry, he's in so much control right here. You know, it's the scariest position being on the ledge against Larry Larry. That's like a really good idea. He knew that uh, Larry was going to go with that down or that back here, so it kind of went right underneath him. Charlie with no jump. And there's going to be the tilt. Yep. Yeah. Swiping left out of there. Yeah, that was to the right. I don't know. Maybe oh, you're oh, you right. He said, I'll take you downtown. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Anyways, Larry now up 2 1. He's, he just has all these answers for Charlie. He's just not letting him open up with those comps that he wants. Yeah. It, the, the big thing is the, the whiff punishing, right? Mm -hmm. Larry's just doing such a great job of predicting when Charlie wants to overcommit into him a little bit. And because Larry's doing these dashbacks, Charlie feels like he has to overcommit into him, right? Definitely. So Charlie's doing, or Larry's doing an amazing job of just making it so that when Charlie comes into him, he's already there, ready to place the perfect option and cover the game. And yeah, now for game four, we're going to be actually seeing a bit of a scenery change. Not too much. Smashville, again, in the same kind of area but we're gonna be seeing a lot closer blast zones or more yeah more area for the cqc combats and the fact that a lot of kills wolf usually does kill off the side and people are just gonna die a little bit earlier now with those small blast oh. zones speaking of which that f smash almost killing it's about even in percent charlie with the control though yeah, charlie right now has had him on this ledge this word's gotten so much damage he needs to hold on to this Charlie continuing to put the pressure on. Larry kind of jumping out of, out of the shield a little. Oh, oh probably wanted to hit the ledge. Just goes up and not up and in. So Charlie going to take that first stock. Now let's see what he can do here. Oh, oh my. I don't he know how that. that in. Yeah. I don't know how that didn't hit. Oh, I, that falling up was so sneaky. Oh, I don't know if he held down, but that was a clean two frame. Oh. Not able to get the full scoop. Yeah, the scoop usually does catch these yeah. rolls, but I guess it just didn't hit. And there we go. Again, he's throwing out those backers when Charlie wants to try to attack him in the air too, and it's and it trades there. So that was not great for him because he's down, but it was still worth it. Yeah, it really feels like Larry is coming out on top of the air to air game. And so I you know, I would think that Charlie might want to approach a little bit more ground in the future. But again, Larry he covers things so well. He makes sure that you can't overcommit into him without him being able to punish him. Yeah. Getting the jungle going. Oh, he tries to get that back there again. Oh. Oh, he's calling out Larry on these jumps. Yeah. Larry's jumping a lot. Yeah. Yeah, and Charlie finally kind of catching up with that a little bit. That up tilt, yep, punching yeah. him out of there. And Charlie again with a little bit of a lead, 87, but now he's on the ledge. Let's see if Larry's going to get him off there and returns to neutral safely. That's so good for Charlie. Let's see if he can extend this lead a little bit more. Yeah, Charlie's starting to feel himself again. You know, he's throwing out those down moves. He's ready to, he's ready to rock and roll with the combo. Oh, air to shield. Oh, and I love that chase. tech chase. And till. Okay, Charlie's kind of moving now. Yeah, this is the momentum he needed, but oh, Larry able to get through. But the thing is, oh, okay, so Larry takes that interaction. Now it feels like the momentum is totally shifted, but Charlie kind of just taking back it right there. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa What a whoa, call whoa, whoa, whoa. out. Whoa, whoa, Charlie. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, he had the extra stop. Absolutely. So, so, you know, go for it. If there was a list of things I would have prepared for, that, would, that wouldn't have no. even been there. No, no, no. That, that was a call out. That was, I want to go to game that's five. A that's a bad man. That's yeah. a bad man right there. That's, I, I want to go to game five. Let's wrap this up. Yeah. I do like that he kind of saved it right there to get that last stock. Definitely a surprise me option. So Yeah, it's one of those mix-ups. Each, you know, each set, you need a mix-up to introduce every mm -hmm. time, right? And so if you're not coming with something new, your opponent's going to know exactly how to play against you. And right there, that was something that he hasn't shown at all. And, you know, just waited to play that card until that moment. Exactly. Now we're going to go game five, back to town and city. I do think the uh, Smash World choice was a great idea for Charlie. He was able to just suffocate Larry a lot more in these interactions and just cover more space. Whereas here in town, there's just so much room for Larry to just kind of run away and retreat to. Yeah, it could also be a comfort pick, you know? Like, Larry seems to really like the stage clearly. He kind of picked back to it. Yeah. Um, whereas Charlie preferred you know, to be on Smashville, so... But Charlie yeah. kind of has oh. Larry's answer. He had no jump there, and he was just waiting for Larry to do every option, and he just... He just covered everything, so... Yeah, he faked like he was going to go high there, and then Larry threw out the down B as a defensive option. Yeah, he knew that Larry was going to do that, too. You yeah. saw him wait for it. Now Larry with some momentum and some stage control. Keep Charlie in the corner. This is going to be big. Ooh, interesting air dodge. Off the stage, not going to get punished. 
Lingo Shield. Larry, I love the Tomahawk. Yeah, coming down with the MP hop grab. Yep, you see Charlie, he's not always landing with these aerials. He's oh. realizing that Larry's calling him out a lot of these times for it. Oh, oh wait. Yeah. Yeah. Charlie, he wasn't really able to get a whole lot on that. Yeah. Know, he, on that extra stock he had there. Yeah, Larry kind of like came to his senses and just started bringing it all the way back. Only 20%. Look at that. That's already even. Yeah, and Larry continuing to keep the momentum on his side. You know, look at the stage control. Look how Charlie feels like he's pushing the corner constantly, having to back up towards the ledge. There we go. Now Larry's doing the same thing that Charlie was doing on his first stock. So many up. There's 97%. Or 93. Big combo for Charlie. That's yeah. good percent. Triple oh, up or wait. We're just, we're just doing it back and forth to each other now. Yeah, these guys definitely, the pendulum is swinging back and forth. That's for sure. This should be a down throw. Oh, you're just taking the stage. It's the up tilt. Not going to get it. Oh, any, that would... any one of those bears spell death for Charlie, so he's really got to be careful to avoid that. And there's going to be an up smash. Not no, gonna I can't do it just yet. Yeah. That was a really good up smash from Charlie. We've barely seen anything that Larry has thrown out that's been punishable. That's been another thing, that F tilt. Charlie now has this stock. He has the rage. He's going to want to try to close this one out without losing this stock. Yeah, one hit could be it. Honestly, you're but right. Speaking of that one that's, hit. That's all That's all Larry needs either. So now we've got 0% both game, stocks. Game last five. stock, game five. Yeah. Wait, but again, we see Charlie uh, calling out that Larry doesn't have these jumps. He's using these defensive options to try to land. And he's gotten 80% off of it. Just looking so good for Charlie. He needs to try to make sure that Larry doesn't call him out again, gets oh. any of these hits in. The tech chase. Oh, doesn't even need it. No knockdown. All right, we can see the fourth throw. What's the option going to be? All right, Charlie. Going to try not to let this uh, lead get a, uh, get away from him. He wants to close this one out. This is so scary. And now, I was going to say, and now Charlie gets the whip punish and poke. Now you're going to be seeing a lot of bears from Charlie, a lot of up smashes on any whip moves. Oh, I the love the meaty. And it did. Oh, that back there's going to be the bear. Charlie, yeah, great yeah, stuff from Charlie. Charlie predicted that Larry was going to try to anti-air that, or air air right there. Right? Got there a little bit sooner, managed to close that one out. Great stuff to Charlie. What was, 